So most people in America are accustomed to consumer rights. Consumer rights have the right, say, I have the right to return things. Generally speaking, we return things with a receipt. But if you're a person like me where the receipts are being constantly stolen from you and constantly put back on you from trash cans of months ago, it's kind of hard to utilize a receipt. I definitely kept the receipt that I was looking for, but unfortunately it's not here. When I tried to return something to the store in its actual original package, which its original directions, I was told I could, but I didn't want to replace it with the same goods because why would I buy something twice that's not going to work? The manager who was called for assistance because I did not want to provide them with my privacy of identification and my information to protect my life was t basically lying to me. I said, couldn't I possibly just return this item for something else then, and then there's no need for my ID? And openly she said no. So basically she lied about what happens across most of corporate America in retail. If you have something, generally speaking, that is very obviously a company product, then it's allowed to be returned, even if you don't have the receipt. In this case, it was going to be an exchange anyway, probably for something of lesser value, and they could have easily done that. But the liars decided not to do that. Not only did the manager or supervisor, who was Hispanic, come over and not listen to the problem, the girl who handled the problem made a mistake in her articulation of what he was really there to do. What he was really there to do was to approve the return, but she didn't handle it that way. That made a monkey's ass out of me, wasted my time, wasted the safety of my property, and openly I didn't get my money back and I didn't get any service. I don't like that. And most people who, who regard American culture do know what the rules of American returns are.